You want to see something crazy? Okay. All the way up there is where we're going to. That's the pillar we're entering on. Okay, so the line starts there. And it goes around to right where I am. Then it goes behind me and wraps all the way around back to the pillar and then doubles back like this. So these people are in line. It goes all the way down there and the end of the line is down there where the beginning of the line is. That's so many people are here and I'm actually relatively close if you compare me to everyone else. I'm so close. Okay, right now I'm on the second floor. Oh my ears are popping. <laughs> these windows is Jules Byrne's office. They have kind of on display. Um, but there's Jules Byrne. Is it sad that when I actually think of Jules Byrne, all I can think of is Back to the Future 3? I'm so cold. I just need one more layer. <laughs> it's just windy. where you can look and see how far away major cities are. So Athens is this way. Can you see it? Yeah. Australia. Yeah. It's that way. Amsterdam, there are some people there right now. Hello. London. Hello, London. Canada. Moose, eh? 
Here we go. Hello, US. Way out there. Miss ya. I'm gonna try to take the stairs all the way down. I'm walking down to the first floor right now. And this comment is for my dad. I walked up to, they had a little concession stand on the second floor. And I wanted, they have barbecue lays here, which they don't have in Italy. And I was like, oh my gosh, I should get some. And the lady who was working at it was like, the ice cream machine was broken. So she was like trying to put it back together. And I walked up and I was like, bonjour. And I tried to pick up some barbecue chips and she like turned around. She was like, I'm sorry, I'm closed right now. And I was like, because your ice cream machine is broken and you're trying to put it back together, you're closing down your, your entire booth. So my dad would appreciate that because we understand that processes should not break down like that anyway. I love that you can see the whole shadow. That over there is Trocadero, which is where I've been getting all the good pictures of the Eiffel Tower. And where I would like come out of the subway and walk around the corner. So it's right there. I just want to say that the Eiffel Tower is really classy too because they're playing Kesha over the microphones. the freaking Eiffel Tower and Kesha is playing. I just, the significance. Number one, I'm about to enjoy these barbecue lace for Whitney. Number two, you can now see the finer intricacies of the line I was in earlier. Um, there's where I went in over there. It goes down here and it circles up to right. I don't know if you can see what's going on. Up to right, around there, and then it goes all the way around back there, and then you can't really see, but it turns, but you kind of can't right there. It turns around and goes back, and the end of the line is right there. So luckily, I got here early enough in the morning that when I got in line, it was right up there. And then as I waited in line, it added and circled around and such. And it took me about an hour and 15 minutes to get up to the front. I'm at that. I'm back on solid ground. All done. So in addition to all of the gypsies that are trying to sell you like miniature Eiffel Towers and scarves and stuff around the Eiffel Tower, there's also a bunch of Middle Eastern looking women who walk around um, begging for money and it says on the top that it's for like the, associate, the French Association for Deaf People and so they come up and they'll just like wave at you because they're deaf and mute, I guess. And then like, if you just say no, they'll start tapping on your arm as you walk away, like, wait, don't, and I'm just like, don't touch me. Like, that's taking it too far. And I also find it very interesting. Well, first off, I saw one of them talking to a friend of hers, so I know they're not all deaf who are doing that. They're just pretending. And then number two, I find it fascinating that there are no, like, white deaf people here who are, want to be a part of that association. They're all Middle Eastern women, not in a racist way, but they are, and I find that interesting as well. Goodbye, Eiffel Tower. I'll come back one day.